Welcome to the Delta Mass Solution tutorial. Here we're going to be covering finding the increasing or decreasing domain. Here we have the graph and we're going to determine where this do domain is decreasing. Let's just look at some words here because it might be confusing. The word domain is referred to your x values. Decrease means going down. So I don't care about these Y values. So just take these Y values out before they start confusing you. Okay. I'm only looking at the X values. So ignore every X value here. Now, now it says going down. Okay. So imagine yourself walking. Okay. Where are you if you are going down? Okay. Here it looks like you're still going up. Okay, up, 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 up. Then here, you hit your vertex. Then you go down. So it looks like we can draw a line through this, which is called the line of symmetry. And we saw that it passes through negative six. So the x value that it starts going down with is at negative 6. It starts here. Then all the way to 14. Sorry, this should be positive 6. So all the way here, it is going down. So if you want to look at your domain, which is your x value, where the function is decreasing, it would be from negative 6 all the way. Sorry, it should be from 6 to 14. And it touches those. So it should be close at 6, comma, close at 14. So they're both brackets at both sides. Okay. The domain, again, is your x value decreasing. It's when it's going down. There you go. Let's plug that in and let's see if we get it correct. So I said it was from 6, bracket 6, comma, all the way to 14, bracket. Let's submit the answer. That is correct. Notice it goes all the way down right there. They wrote it as the inequality here, but they accept the interval answer as well. Let's do one more. Here we are asked to find the domain where the function is decreasing. And like we said before, let's just look at the keywords. The do domain is referred to be the x value, and decrease means it's going down. So. I can ignore all of my x, all my y values here. So I can ignore that. I can ignore all of this. I don't care. Okay. The reason why is because you don't want it to start confusing you. Ignore them because we're only looking at your domain, which is your x values. All right. Now let's see where it's going down. Well. If we imagine a person, the person is going up, 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 boom, it hits here at the vertex. Then it comes back down, down, down. Okay, that's the act of going down, that is the act of going up. So where it starts is here at the line of symmetry which is negative 3, and it's closed because it touches that, and it goes all the way to, well, it keeps going, so it goes all the way to, ne uh, it goes all the way to positive infinity for the x value. Do you see that? It goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so it goes all the way to positive infinity. Why? Because this is an arrow. So, the answer should be it's closed at negative 3, and then it goes all the way to positive infinity, and we know that we have to open it at positive infinity. So bracket negative 3, comma, positive infinity, and we have to make sure it's opened at positive infinity. Okay, so bracket negative 3, comma, parentheses, open parentheses.
All right, there we go. That looks right good. And there we go. Okay, and again, it includes infinity because it keeps going to the right. Take a look. All right, it goes towards positive infinity. So there you go. That is how you find the increasing or decreasing domains.